In this class, we are going to learn how to read or parse the content of the CSV file which we upload or get from the user with the help of Visual Builder application page. Now I have created an application, simple application wherein I am having a button. So from the UI, it is looking like a button but behind the scene, it's a file picker. Now if I click on this, it will ask to select the file. So I have to select the CSV file. It is restricting me to select only CSV file because I have selected the accept clause over here to select only CSV file. Now as soon as I click on that CSV file, it will upload all the details whatever is available in my CSV file in a table. Below this button, I am having a table. Now let's see how I have done in the code. I have created this application test.js. So under that, I am having this main read csv.js. You can import this application in your Visual Builder application instance and you can go through this use case or the project in order to solve your similar business requirement. I have created a event over here in the file picker. I have created an event. Let me just click on this. What I am trying to do is I am trying to call a JavaScript function which I have created. Let me just go to this function and before that, so whatever result I am getting from this JavaScript function that I am assigning to the columns and the ADP variable which will be used in order to populate the table over here. Let me just go back to this page designer and click on this table. So here I am populating the column and the data whatever we get from the JavaScript. In order to read any CSV file, we have to make use of similar construct in with the help of this custom JavaScript function in your Visual Builder application and pass the details. Like you can read the columns, how you can segregate the first column in your text file that is the CSV file and make it as a column in order to display in the table as a column. And you can populate the table data that is by traversing to all the rows in the CSV file one by one excluding the first row because first row is our column until the entire file is being read. So our JavaScript function will wait as we are making use of the promise. So this will resolve once our CSV file gets completely read and it has looped over all the rows in the file. The promise we are resolving over here and returning the details. So in case of any error, we will return the error reason over here. So this use case you can use if you are having a requirement in your project wherein you have to pass the details and upload your details to database or display in a table like what I've shown over here. In order to generate any CSV file, it's a straightforward thing. If you just see over here the export, sorry, I'm not having over here the export component. We have to go to browse in the components and see export. So there is something called as export data. It will export your file into the CSV file if we make use of this component. This we have already covered in our course earlier. So you can check out those classes if you are not familiar how to export the content in a CSV file. So here it is written as you can put as an Excel sheet. But it's not true because at the time of recording this class, this export data supports only exporting CSV file, but that CSV file you can open in a MS Excel. But if you want to generate or read any .xlsx file, then you have to make use of external JavaScript libraries like Sheet.js or Excel.js. 